Hello, everyone. My name is Josue Aguilar. Here at Park Industries, we use Hypertherm's ProNest CAM software and their Edge Connect control to program and operate our Kano cutting system. So we'll take a few minutes to briefly explain how easy it is to go from CAD drawing to cutting. So what we have here when we open ProNest is we notice that the, um, the software is organized by the ribbon tool, a ribbon toolbar at the top. The information on the left and the right side of the screen is customizable to your preference as far as what information you want to see. When we want to add, um, the first thing we need to do is add parts to our list. And so when, to do that, we'll go to our edit parts list. And so within ProNest, we can import numerous file types, DWG, DXF, PDF, raster images, and others. Additionally, a module can be added that provides importing of SOLIDWORKS or inventor parts and assemblies. So various ways of getting parts into ProNest. And so we'll, once you find and add all your parts here in the file explorer at the top, at the bottom, we'll be selecting quantity, material, and the process that we'll be cutting that material. So in this case, we'll be cutting mild steel, 3 8 using a 130 amp true hole process with an XPR high definition plasma. When those parameters are set and you have all the parts that you need, we'll return to nesting. And we see here that our parts list is populated here as far as what needs to be nested. We'll use the ProNest automatic nesting module to set our plate size. So in this case, we'll do a five by 10 sheet we only have one quantity of that plate size for this, or we're gonna, we're gonna say that. And so then we'll hit okay once we set the quantity and the size. And so at this time, ProNest will then use its algorithm to um, maximize uh, the utilization of the plate. Telling us here not all parts were nested. It'll show us this general triangle. And what I did here is just simply use a gusset in this case as a filler part to fill in the gaps to kind of use up any empty space that my larger parts, more important parts, um, did not take up. And so if the nest looks good for what we see here, we can then output the part here at, at the ribbon. We're just waiting for that module to come up. And so again, we got a file explorer at the top as far as where we want to put that file. We'll name that file and then we output it. So depending on the size of your nest, the number of your nest, or even your processor speed, outputting a nest can take either a few seconds or a few minutes. So we see that it's done here. And so um, the Hypertherm Edge Connect control uh, on the Kano is Windows-based and can be set up to receive the output files over your network. And so when we move into, that's really the operation of ProNest. And so now we have a ready file that the operator can work with. So we'll move into the Phoenix software that's loaded on the Edge Connect control. And the operator would then go into files and find that file folder that's on your network, in this case, and the file that we have here. And there's our nest that we just outputted. So we can hit OK, and that loads the file. Now the, the operator needs to align the nest to the plate, the 5x10 sheet that's on the table. So we'll do that within current part options. And using either a camera or a crosshair laser offered with our Kano to find the corner of the plate. And then he'll use a secondary edge, a secondary point along the plate edge. And after selecting those two points, the nest is now square to that 5x10 sheet. The cutting process is embedded in the nest, and so parameters do not have to be selected. He will, the operator will have to confirm that the consu correct consumables that match that process selected within ProNest are inside the torch head. Also that the plasma is ready to cut. We have gases and the other inputs that we need to those things. And if all those things are ready at that point, they can hit start and begin, the cu and begin cutting. And so really, that's the simple steps of going from your drawings through ProNest and then cutting. And so there are, there are numerous other functions and features of Hypertherm's ProNest and uh, Phoenix software. 
And so if you'd like to learn more about those features, we can then schedule a one-on-one -on -one demo uh, to where more of that can be explained. So thank you.